there was a f***ing that went in my ass and it created this Wait thing. a minute, what? <laughs> there was a that went in your ass? <laughs> and it created that. what? <laughs> did it create a black hole in your ass? Where it sucked all the other c**ks in the universe up into your ass to blow the Omega load? What happened? Meanwhile, this guy is sitting next to him in the golf cart. Right? He's in the gay shadow realm <laughs> on a golf course for a thousand years. Like, it could happen to you, folks. One day some rich guy could bet. flaccidly touch you with his hand and imprison you in a psychic torture dungeon of cock sucking and ass. My kids bicycle. got turned on to by their mom. His kids got over turned the... on by their mom? What do you mean by wait, this, sir? Wait, your was, children were turned wait. on by their mom? Is that what he said? Yeah. Oh. So, Ralph's having a lot of problems. He's in all this fucking You don't debt. say. He's broke. <laughs> His show's failing. So, what's the solution? Well, Ralph has a messiah. A messiah that's come. Guys. He this? promised that this guest would destroy our show. He promised that this guest would make more money than any Kino Casino in history. So he he said, really, he actually, he literally said, he hyped this guest well, up. He, no, well, well, the way he said it was, he said that uh, because we, because you were off, yeah, that one day, he said the Kino Casino has been basically closed down. How many they times can't get is guests. he gonna say that? And we came back with more viewers than we ever had on our own without any guests. Like he's like, okay. But anyway, he goes, his whole, whole rationale was because we missed a day, because it was only one day at that point, and he could get guests and we can't, that we were done. We're and done. this guy was going to be like a bit, he was literally the new Messiah. Like, yeah. for real. For real. So here we go, guys. Now, here comes the Messiah. Now, by the way, a lot of this we can't really pause. Because it's so insane. Oh, we'll be pausing. All right. We'll be pausing. You ready? Yeah. This is called introduction. You ready, boys? Here's the introduction of this guest that's going to destroy the casino. All right. Can you can you hear me? Uh, let me see. Technical issues. Can you hear me? Dead air. It's another kill stream. Okay, wait. Paradise. They can't hear you just yet. But you can't hear me. Look what I did here. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. You can hear me. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right, now let me, um, I'd seen you on Twitter. All right, guess how long did that tech issue was, Ash? How long? Guess, guess. 15 minutes. 30. No. It was 30 it wasn't, minutes. It wasn't 30 minutes. I left minutes. in 24 30 seconds. 30 minutes of technical issues to get well, this old he got on. on. He got on first. I, I obviously erased it. But he got on. And he introduces himself. But then he can't hear Ralph. And it turns out he's got Ralph on his show, but in the other room on his TV speakers. Well, but can't hear Ralph on his No, headphones. but what do you think happens when you try and get a guest who's 65 years old, who's a schizophrenic on? Yeah. Like, what What do you, can you really expect What's from him? What this he has here? What is Revelation. It's a revelation! All right, here you go. Like this, and, um... these Egyptian hieroglyphics. This guy is just a sad, pathetic old man that wants to feel sad. And Ralph has to sit here and pretend like this old man is dispensing pearls of wisdom, yeah, instead of pearls of schizophrenia. Well, he was high. And take note of how much he's at. He's at two hundred and seven dollars on this day. Yeah, he's well short of the. It's like eight cold. hours in. <laughs> and we'll just see how much money comes in during the segment. Yeah, it's like eight hours. This in is our... the Messiah. <laughs> Surely he'll hit the goal. It's only forty-three yeah. more dollars. You'd responded to a couple of my posts, and then I guess I had tweeted about coming back to work and getting back into streams or something, now, setting up some. This first clip is a slow boil, but trust me. All right. Clip two gets nuts. Let's go, felted, etc. Yes, I forget what I said exactly, I and then you said, "When are you going to have New Age Messiah on the show?" <laughs> and I he's said, giving, "Well, like that no, Joe Ralph. Biden, the senile stare." No, that's Ralph. Is it Ralph trying well, Ralph, to figure out how to position? Yeah, because he's moving the the window. When? You, you could see the uh, the Google Meets there. Yeah, let's do it Friday, <laughs> and um, here you are. So wow, I, Ralph, I don't. What an introduction! 
So he tweeted me, and I tweeted him back, and then we were, like, disgusting for him to come on. It's really relevant for us to know. It's such an inspiring (laughs) and attention-grabbing story. And I'll pull up some of that stuff, too, but um, I thought it'd be better to do it like this, honestly, where I learn along with the audience. I know. Hear this, hear this, hear this. That's not a good idea, Ralph. So Ralph tries to own us. By saying that this guy is like big, he'll destroy us. Doesn't do any research on him. No. And prays that it's great. It's going to be good, here, guys. Here it is. I just thought I'd learn with you guys. If he did even 10 seconds of research, he'd know this guy was a waste of time. This guy is like the biggest <laughs> windbag loser Honestly. you've ever seen in your life. It's this stereotype of this old man with no accomplishments, no success, no mo- nothing. Who wants to feel really important yeah. by making up lies? Yeah, and just oh, obvious yeah. lies. It's that, complete that's who this guy is. bullshit. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, a little bit, but I, just, love, uh, I love the title. I like, often lies for words. It's so funny. Hoffman's it makes lies. it a little harder for me because I don't know where to start because it's it's a freaking it's a gigantic freaking thing. And if you had like it, but it doesn't right, matter. I'm right? gonna tell you right now, the gold in this clip. If you're watching, remember this is more of a, a viewable. Ralph's face in this is so funny. I couldn't stop laughing. Can start anywhere. Well, first off, let me start. Um, get introduced. Whoa, that was a little bit rude, wasn't it's it? It's aggressive, you know. It's yourself, and tell us who you are. For the purposes, he doesn't even uh, know. He doesn't even know who he is. He can't ever. He has answer. to give it thought. He's like. Who am I really? Like, what con, what grift am I going to try and sell to people today? Is it that I'm being spoken to by the goddess? Is it my amazing history on the Lost forums? Is it that I'm a multi-millionaire golf course developer? What bullshit am I going to spew? He really has to think about it. He has to think even about what his name is. Look at Ralph here. He's like, Ralph's the- like, what the f*** is, what is wrong with you? On? Interview, I declared... <laughs> a mission when I was about 40 what to find something new to replace religion basically because right so this man <laughs> this man he's taken it upon himself to be the one who replaces religion, religion. not a religion. religion he's gonna replace all of religion all of it the delusions of grandeur and self-importance from this nobody This guy was zero charisma, zero oratory ability, zero ability to string even sentences together that are coherent. This man has taken it upon himself to replace religion. Like like right now, the expectations have been built up to such a point. Not only is he going to save the kill stream and make it hit the goal, which is basically impossible. He's also going to kill the casino. Ruin it. And he's also now going to replace religion. So... It better get better than this. This is the co-host. If the this new is co-host. the new co-host, the new savior, that he calls himself the new messiah. Yeah, that's his We're going to need to see a bit more out of him All right. than we've seen so far. So I had kind we'll of felt- do polls periodically to say if he will do it, what he oh, says. Oh, like I got screwed over by it. And I... Because I had kind of felt like I got screwed over by it. And I... If, if my these soul guys, the world. there's always a million excuses of why they got screwed over or why they didn't make it. They're always like the most exceptional, talented person that's ever existed, but these evil outside mm. forces <clears throat> have conspired <clears throat> against them to f*** them over. I'm going to make a new religion because my life sucks. Okay. What? Fuck it. Like, well, that's insane. And Ralph's eventually mad. got tortured and looked my heart in the mirror. He was tortured. And there was like a map. How does Ralph go... Not go, what? Explain. <laughs> Can you expand? Massive enlightenment type experience in that one, in that one second. So what he asked and then for was his name, which still hasn't occurred, and why he's there, which also As hasn't occurred. He can't Ralph answer. looks glum. Like, Ralph right now, is, it's setting in. He's like, oh my oh, god. No. Oh, fuck! He's like, this is not going to be the Shit, one. Shit, this is what I've got for the content today? <laughs> All kinds of... Twist tie. He's explaining who he is. What's your name and what do you do? Oh, I cre- I want to create religion. I was tortured. Okay, wait, hang on. Chill, 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 chill. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
miracles oh, yeah. in that one second. Watch this. And then there were all kinds of miracles. A goddess eventually spoke to me. <clears throat> <laughs> and that's the basic, basic. There's a, you but know. A, a, thing a, is, <laughs> Ralph is so mad. Ralph is so pissed. He wants to lose the They're goddess. Good. But if you believe in a goddess, how are you really replacing religion? You're just creating a new religion. Yeah. Based around this goddess. This god. Yeah, yeah you're create. Yeah. Which goddess? Athena? Like Aphrodite? Like Oh, he'll tell us. Oh, okay. He'll tell us. Long story, both in front of and behind. There's two things going on right now. What's one? Oh, the senile Am stare. I on the show? Bro, he yes. looks more Am lost. Am I on the show? Am I on the show? Like, he doesn't even buddy. know if he's on his show or not. Look at him, bro. Look at how confused he is. He's having a senior moment. <laughs> Holy so shit! This is really funny. Did he just poo his pants <laughs> on air? Like, as he cropped his adult diaper? Dude, this is so. I told you, Ashton, this is great. I showed Ashton, he goes, This is good. And I'm like, Trust me. This is the greatest clip, I think, ever of Ralph interviewing someone. I swear. <laughs> okay. Watch this, watch this. Watch What's this. going on on your end? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're on the okay. show. We're live still. Sure. You were in the okay. chat. You saw me. I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, I know. I just <sighs> there was other there were other audio things going on, and I thought maybe you were so doing something so for the show. And here is hearing voices. No, in no, his no. I'll no, tell you what happened. He left his TV on with a kill stream, and he's hearing it from the he's other. He's hearing room. his own voice. So now he's, he's like, like, wait, confused. what the fuck? Talking to me private. I didn't know. No. Um, what, what, doing what? something for the show and then talking to me private. I didn't know. No, um, no, yeah, there's, no there's no other audio. It could have been a glitch or something with, with me, but no, I didn't press any. Oh, that. I got two. Let me turn off my speakers. So, so, yeah, I think that's on your end. Amazing. What's about that? Okay, I'm not playing anything. Up. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off my speakers. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, you're right. We need Ralph, Ralph's Dude, own chat went Ralph stroke. hanging high and dry. Yeah, he's having a stroke, man. It is history. With Look at his chat. Look at. What in the balls is this? You know what you want? <laughs> like, Gabe, I agree with that. We need his history Whoa. with Gabe. He doesn't. He d does not. What's up, Tommy? Like, imagine, like, even if Gabe did screw this guy, he deserves to get screwed. Yes, yeah. All right, is that better? Gabe f this guy's wife oh. is the You can't story. hear me now, can you? Everything that's you said, like, two minutes ago is coming through now. <laughs> so for Ralph, so for Ralph, buddy. Ralph, this was his what big is... moment. This was gonna save the fucking kill stream, bro. And it's over before it's it even It's already got. over, bro. There's no way to salvage this. This guy's just a nut bar. And he's not really even interesting. He just says nonsense. That's just like. It's just not even entertaining. He's so boring, even though he's so re insane. Like, it's, <laughs> what's funny is that is watching Ralph seethe in reaction. Oh yeah! Shit. Oh dude, dude. When okay. Ralph, when Ralph tries to stop him from talking, he's like, "It's so good." Just like I have a lot of zoom ins I made too, like like in edit. Let me refresh. Here we go. He's refreshing. Okay, is that better? Uh, there's still there's still a lag like two minutes i'm hearing what you said two minutes ago. two minute lag the two minute well, lag. drop out and join back in okay wait look 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 Ash. but how do you hear that wait look at the face <laughs> this guy's making he's biting down hard <laughs> wait, wait, he goes i can't hear you he goes, I can't hear you. There's a two minute lag, but he's responding to Ralph. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll work on it. It's look, we've had tech issues plenty of times. So I don't think the issue is with the tech. No, I think the issue is clear to see if you just look at this guy's face. That he's just senile and fucked in the head. Did you send me That's that? the mega of all those DMs. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, yeah. awesome. Um, yeah, you were hearing the other Two part. Two things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, All right, right, so they fixed it. They fixed it. Echo, echo. 
Two minute echo. I see. All right. Now, um, do you, so you call yourself new age Messiah. Do you think you're the Messiah or, or is this a whole new thing? It's okay. So whatever you think about a Messiah that's been kind of programmed into you from the Jewish stuff is fake. Okay. Oh, man. But the idea of the Messiah is real because what happened to me is, you know, I declared a mission. I got into this uh, torturous relationship where I was almost dead. I got tortured by a guy in a, you know, very lucrative situation in real estate. We were best friends for two years, whatever. He tortured me. <laughs> and I was basically okay. crippled on my... Pause it, man. Ralph is so ready. Awesome, Ralph is... Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at, look at Ralph here. <laughs> Ralph going... I'm on my last, like... Buddy, his eyebrows are so furrowed right now. Like, it's like perfect. It's like a cartoonist. He's, like, he's so angry. The guy's like... Can you explain, like, do you think you're the Messiah? Like, he can't give a yes or a no or anything. He's just like, so what you think about a Messiah is all wrong. It's, it's all misconception. It's all Jewish. Now, I'm not going to explain. I'm not going to follow up on that. Instead, I'm just going to jump off randomly to how I was tortured. By a guy. Because I was in a years. real estate relationship with this friend. And he tortured me for two years. And you're like... Buddy, this is fucked. You're just a total schizophrenic. You can't like Even follow Ralph's up like, any idea fuck. that you're presenting. And Ralph's like trying to. He was it. torted by a real estate agent. Back near death, and I started reading about spiritual stuff, the heart, and everything. Oh, what the heart? And about your about image not being the real you. That if you have no self-image you can be innocent or if you, if you have a self-image you can't be innocent right it was deepak chopra the way of the wizard was the book the way and i was trying to wizard. find my way out of hell ralph so fucking out of hell my way out of hell and i'm serious like i don't think anybody's ever been in worse condition than i was in at the time i was freaking fried man it is horrible uh, are you torture. sure you're not fried now buddy like, what sort of torture did you go through to make you like this? Oh, he'll tell us. He actually... Oh, my God. Let's just keep going. Uh, even though someone who learned what happened to me might not think so, right? But it was it was terrible. I was tortured. It was horrible. I mean, if you heard the story, you might not believe me. It's can like, you tell us the story or can you, you tell us anything? Can you hurry the f*** up? So, uh, as, I was reading this book. <clears throat> I go to the mirror. And As I look, you do when you're reading said, a book. Someone said, actually, Ralph is li is literally in a worse position right now. Yeah, I know. Imagine, like, was, you're, um, you're reading a book and then you go over to the mirror. Character was like, oh, Who sorry. the f*** has done this? You're reading a book and then you go over to the mirror with the book? Who di Who's done this? This f***ing guy. This f***ing guy. Oh, we should man. get him on, interview him. Wretched. You would, you would so what you wretched. have to do with this guy, by the way, is you have to just start shitting on him yeah, and getting him to spaz out. You have to. You gotta make it funny. It used to be like kind of almost Hollywood. People would say I'd like look like this movie star or that movie star, right? So I don't think I look in like the mirror and I look like this come. wretched. Uh, uh, sick son of a bitch, you know? And I'm like, that isn't me, and I looked down at my heart and closed my eyes, right? I looked, because I was reading this book, right? It's like, okay, Ralph, what the hell is my heart? I have no idea. Ralph, so I Ralph's like, what the f <laughs> What did I get myself <laughs> in? Close my eyes. He knows, by the oh way, this God. is going to be on Kill Casino. He closes his sake. eyes and looks at his heart. What the f***, man? How can you look at anything if your eyes are closed? Well, his third eye open. His yeah. spiritually, he's spiritually looking at his heart. <laughs> like anybody who's listening to this goes, this is a schizophrenic who had a delusion. Which stand to no place said. Ralph's like, okay, I need a torta. <laughs> Trying to find my heart, I kind of. That was funny, buddy. Went down into my awareness or whatever, and I felt. Heart, I kind of went down into my like, get this bike running, like, okay, I need to awareness or whatever, and I felt like 
this. Let's, Ralph, let's try and get this back on track. Look at, look at that. He's like looking at the chat. He's like, are people liking this? And he's seeing it. He's like, no, they ain't liking it at all. And what I'm not either. Funniest, what do I do? That is the funniest expression ever. Because you know what's happening to Ralph. He's just like, fuck. Sweet. Second grade. Teacher's pet. Inner what? child. What? Me that I remembered that was such a distant memory because I've been in hell for like pretty close. At least a year. It just seemed like forever. But anyway, so I'm like, I felt this sweet boy. He felt this sweet boy. And instead of like... That's me in the mirror. I said, this is me in my heart, right? I said, this is me instead of that to me. It's like, like change. It's like you're at the bus stop it's and like, a crackhead starts talking to change. you. And you're like, oh, fuck. Man, the crackheads make more sense. More sense, man. seriously. Your identity from what's in the mirror to what's in your heart. And I had this freaking rush of light. Massive freaking so, and the words, this is going to change the world. You think that Ralph would just start hollering at him or like, what the fuck are you talking I about? Would. Or trying to like milk him in some way. But Ralph needs this guy. Ralph is actually in a worse off position than this guy. Yeah. He actually needs this idiot schizophrenic as a guest in order to survive. Or else there's nothing. Made, there's nothing. We'll see how much so he's made so far no donos in the last 30 minutes. Okay. My mind without me thinking of it. It's just oh, like this is going to change the world with a freaking sledgehammer. Oh, I zoomed in and watched this one. world where in my mind without me thinking it's just oh, like this is going to change the world with a freaking sledgehammer from God type thing you know this is going to change the world <laughs> he's nodding but yeah, there's absolutely man, no fuck like a sledgehammer from God bro <laughs> doubt about it and from that second on nothing the, the else has mattered to me lines in his forehead right now like look at this oh man <laughs> it's like the fucking moon the crater of how angry he is <laughs> That that is the maddest I think I've seen Ralph while being the most calm. Except what I had to do to survive, you know. And uh, I started making mirror jewelry. Look your heart in the mirror was like. I started making mirror jewelry. What is, jewelry? what is mirror jewelry? And uh, was, it, I, was it jewelry or jewelry? I started jewelry. making mirror jewelry. Look your heart in the mirror was like that word, you know mirror jewelry and i thought in that same like what, five second instant is, is i like thought a necklace with a mirror on the end or like <laughs> a ring that has a mirror on it and you like look at it oh it's with all this chest it's with all oh chest. okay well we can't see that because it's obscured by the goal <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a thing but how the hell am i going to make it a thing because i'm freaking tortured beggar you know basically barely surviving Ralph, I'm not Ralph right now, needs bro. to interrupt and go what the fuck are you saying like, like can how, we get I, like I'm one like, thing at a time sir I'd be like, shut the fuck up dude like i'd read a chat and like make fun of him like i'd be angry and yeah, oh, i'd be pissed uh then like the thing a week, is, two okay, weeks if he actually did any research on this guy or listened to him talk at all for a second he would have known what he was getting into and he might have been able to devise a game plan yeah, and back funny. in the day on the kill stream, this might have worked because you'd bring in like Randbot to fuck with him. Or I would be or saying, or you'd come in and be like, "What's going shit. on?" Or like the co-host would like come in and felt him. Yeah. But now he has Make nothing. It funny. He, he has nothing. It. Ralph's just like, okay. A significant amount of time later, I remembered that I had declared a mission to find something new, right? And it, and until that time, Dude, I had just he's cooking. Just wait, guys. It gets so funny. Then like, okay, I had this revelation and shit. I have no idea what it means, right? And then I remember, oh, yeah, I had this fucking mission to find something new, right? I'm like, holy shit, it makes sense now. And then, like, boom, is. boom, 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 shit started happening to, to have it fall in place. By the way, <laughs> he's answering a single question. What's your name and who are you? <laughs> Not only was it meant to happen, but the synchronicity involved in it is earth-shattering. Explain uh, how. Millennial. <laughs> what has happened? Let's go. What Phil. are the series He'll of events you. that went boom, boom, boom? Uh, that uh, the synchronicity of which is like clear evidence to his divine nature. May, may I give you a hint of go what it was? Go on, yeah. It was the t TV show Lost. Okay. Makes oh, sense. Never existed type extreme synchronicity that involves the government, uh, 
Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was... like a full-on word salad. Hey, uh, Hollywood. Government. I mean, Hollywood, okay. Illuminati, reptiles. I mean, like, just, just keep listing. The government, Hollywood, media, complex, military, industrial. Like, keep naming things, bro. Just, like, <laughs> just shout them out. Jews! He should have a Kiwi farm for him, to be honest. I'll tell you the first quickie story and just oh, you know story. bear in mind that i'm still a little bit tortured i still have a struggle i still struggle with the shit that went on and it's not like a psychological thing it's ralph, a physio ralph is a statue logical <laughs> thing with, ralph's with the, brown bro is there any pizza inside there of, is somewhere i'm gonna still i'm gonna still have croc slice my body being fucked up right <clears throat> but look at, wow, look at ralph with here. The, look, look at this. inside of my body being look, fucked up right <clears throat> but <laughs> I made this. Just that slight movement of his mouth is so fucking chunky. Uh, I, I this isn't the one, but I made a mirror jewelry. Right, it's got a miraculous. Is that even a, a mirror? mirror? I guess there it is. It Mi looks like a crystal. Mi oh, miraculous! 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 Oh, got him. <laughs> It shines a light, right? So it's like shine a light, mirror jewelry, look your heart in the mirror, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's not, it's send miraculous. Light, <laughs> this is light. nothing to better what happens. All those things you think, oh, that's trivial or that's petty. But when you're crippled beggar and you're freaking laying there near death and all this shit starts to make sense, mirror jewelry, yeah, miracles. I mean, Ralph's a For crippled beggar to whom it all makes mirror sense. Mirror jewelry, miracles makes sense. For a calls? put one on emailed me and said he had an experience he can't describe surge of power right and this is where i'm laying on my back fucking 24 hours a day barely alive <laughs> three dollars <laughs> let's go felted etc after all that rambling 10 minutes of schizophrenic rambling this is so good he paid $3. ralph's reaction ralph's reaction is so funny watch this no, this is uh, happening. Anonymous sent second, three dollars. NGL, okay. this guy sounds and looks like he graduated out the mental That's institution. Cool. All right, not kind super chat, but I appreciate the three bug. Uh, not a kind super chat. Like he has to suck up to this fucking schizo. After all, that. like just be like, you know, I agree, call. <laughs> you know what? You make a point. It was a shorter clip. It's called. I named this one. Uh, I like the names I made in these ones. <laughs> This one's called The Descent Into Madness. Yeah, okay, so... Right, and Ralph starts to get annoyed. Well, I think he's been annoyed the whole no, time. No, but, but this is where he starts to show visible. it. Yeah. yeah, he starts to show it a little bit. The big, the first big thing that happened that was just... There was uh, synchronicity and dates and stuff in a court case where I sued the guy that tortured me. You know, like, they deposed me on Valentine's Day. I filed a suit on well, December 7th, which was my older brother, Black Sheep, who did what? shitty stuff to me. Okay, his, so his older brother is, he names him Black, Black Sheep, Sheep, which is just schizophrenic madness, and then claims that his older brother did shady shit to him. He's pulling a cog. And it's the same date as the day he filed for this, like, lawsuit? There's no such lawsuit. This guy has no money for a lawsuit. This guy has no job. I don't... I'm surprised <laughs> he has a roof over his head. Birthday and also it's Pearl Harbor Day, right? So... And it's Pearl Let's Harbor go, felt Day, it, let's not forget. <laughs> A day that shall Ralph, live in infamy. Ralph, the day Black Sheep say, felted him. Say something, Ralph. Say anything, Ralph. Like, you can't just sit there. You can't just sit there. I didn't even know it was December 7th when I thought it was completely not even on my mind until later, right? Yeah, like most of the so shit. <laughs> you start fitting stuff in to fit a retarded narrative that doesn't make any sense. It's me on Valentine's Day. Then on June 5th, what? 2006, Wait, we're sitting there. We skip Day. from Pearl Harbor to Valentine's no, Day. No, but he's like D December 7th. But then he's like, oh, anyway, Valentine's Day. He's like, wait, wait, wait. It's months apart. What are you talking about? In court. And the lawyer against me says, uh, the guy I, who tortured me will be in court tomorrow to answer Mr. John, Mr. Johnson, to answer Mr. Johnson's interrogatories. What? So that's Mr. June Johnson's 5th. Johnson's derogatories. It sounds like the Matrix, doesn't it, Mr. Johnson? Anderson? Like, what? 
What is going? Is he glitching? Like is this a glitch? <laughs> like, look, look at his face. Is he glitching? Well, look at like look at both of their faces. <laughs> 2006. The guy will be in his office tomorrow to answer, which was six six six, right? So at the okay. very okay. Sir, you're hitting too Wait. many of the generic schizo boxes. Wait. You're six. bringing up six six six. But December 7th isn't a 6. And then Valentine's, Valentine's Day is, Day is 14. 14th. 2 and 14. So where? 2 plus 1 plus 4 is 7. Oh, December yeah. 7th. He said June 6th. 12 plus would 7 be the is day, 19. But it's not even close. But June, no, it's June 6th of 2006. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is 666. Yeah, but, but it's not close to Valentine's Day. Well, or uh, what is the December connection 7th. between these things? What is he talking about? Very moment that he the said that in court. The numbers aren't even adding up. Like at, at least for it to be like a coherent. Like remember all these nine eleven conspiracy videos? Nine plus one plus one is eleven. Yeah. Nine eleven. Yeah. September is nine. Yeah. Divide at the least three. They work. At least that like the numbers like worked out, and then like the Masonic number is thirty three. Hang, on, hang on. And if you divide it by the three. <laughs> I used to watch those books. He's right about They're Pearl all Harbor like removed Day. from YouTube now. Like you can't find I didn't that believe even that that was Pearl Harbor Day, but it is Pearl Harbor Day, December 7th, okay. Did you not His believe lawyers. that Pearl Harbor occurred? On no, no. I, I didn't believe him in front of him. Okay. I didn't believe him. Said that, I was like, I'm the good guy. I don't care about history. I know, well, I you know. Think I gave, I paid attention to the date. I happened? know, I know. I didn't give a f I thought it was in the summer, to be honest. Where's the snow? I thought it was in summer. Is, is it, it was winter? I didn't know. That's news to me. Three years on of torturous Francis hell. Francis Shetza. Torturous And all of a sudden, I, I'm the good guy. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm the good guy, right? Yeah. He's the bad guy. Six, and then, six, six. but, okay, I made the first pendant. Uh, a guy from New York ordered it. What? He said, I want it. The, the jeweler made it upside down because she thought it looked Masonic, and she didn't want to deal with anything Masonic, right? What? So, uh the <laughs> Adel Wolf guys, for one dollar. Said I Adel like Wolf that one dollar. But would you zero turn it the zero other way on so Rumble? The tip, the, May the ghost of George Nori power Ralph for an epic. Ralph doesn't even stop the guy. No, it's just blaring Ralph, over him. Ralph, let's segment. Ah, the jeweler if made you it know, on the you bottom, know. and he saw somehow in New York saw it on the internet. It's so funny, dude. That in my tiny little website, and he wanted to flip it around, so I sent it in to the uh, casting place and they uh, flipped it. And then it was a big thing because it shrunk again and the mirrors I had didn't fit. So I had to custom order mirrors. But like, okay, so with this interview, right? <laughs> Do you like this interview or what? How, so it's been going on you. for like 20 minutes now. At this no. point, it's 15 minutes. No, at this point it's like 40 minutes, dude. 40 minutes. I in. edited this down. Okay. So with this guy, you have to- two and a half hours. You have to at least attempt to redirect him and like, you gotta like Anything keep interrupting him to get him to like follow up on what he's saying because he's just jumping from topic to topic to topic and like going on these weird side stories to where like the whole train of thought Make is way. incoherent. And the lady, like she thought it was no. Masonic and Make it had to be this. made upside down. And Here's what happened. He's saying he built this necklace, had the lady build it, but she wouldn't put the, the f***ing mirror the way he wanted it because it was Masonic. But she made it anyway, and he removed it, and then had to flip it. But then the the size of the mirror did, didn't fit anymore. Right. So he just said, and Ralph allows this to be said without any interruption. How? And then finally, there's this thing, right? I go and pick it up. Here we go. I'm like, holy shit. So I email him, this is the most beautiful jewelry I ever created, right? And I uh, put it in a little box to him, and I go back to my life for three days and four or five days, whatever it was, and pretty much almost forget about it, that he's getting this. And it's like, because there's nothing else on my mind but the torture I'm going through, right? And then he, I open an email. It says, I got the pen, and they really are beautiful. When I put it on, I had this experience I can't describe, the surge of power, blah, 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 right? So I'm like, holy shit. That's like, how do you go, what? You, Excuse me. Pardon what? me. You put on the pendant and you had a surge of power. Like, what do you mean? That's when I started calling them miracles. But uh, when I first got the upside down pendant, <laughs> I made a prospectus. I was in Europe in the army. A prospectus. <clears throat> I was in Europe in the army. 
and I traveled around taking pictures. Uh, I did a year rail pass, and I was in all the countries. Took all these, you know, nice, he pretty was in pictures. All and, the countries. Uh, I made greeting card spec, whatever you want to call them, like provisional greeting cards for Starbucks. Look your heart in the mirror. Greeting provisional cards. Provisional greeting cards. Whoa, this for rules. Starbucks. I don't believe that. I don't believe anything, anything. this guy says. What it's is all delusions on? of grandeur. No, it's like, I mean, everybody knows what this is. Like, you know it when you see it. But it's... like when he's talking about it's the most beautiful piece of jewelry he's ever seen or that's ever been created. It's not. And the pennant, pictures of pennant, you know, and sent it to Starbucks to right. be uh, excluded. Because I was going to Starbucks every day <laughs> to oh. have coffee. And that was really my oh, only, nice. you know sort of like sort of like Ralph, goes. man look at him oh man <laughs> it's really hard for people to really grasp okay three let's say three years on of living in complete hell after being this close to being a multi-millionaire because i set up these multi Interrupt. complete hell after being this close to being a multi-millionaire because i set up like this these multi uh huge to being a multi-millionaire it's always with these guys i was so close yeah, I, was I was gonna be a millionaire last... and then they just screwed me bro i don't know what happened bro i was just screwed by some unforeseen force it's always with these guys <laughs> so, so it said ralph almost felt it <laughs> real estate projects for this guy that's tortured me right <clears throat> so I'm coming home on my little bicycle. I was a bicycle monk, basically. So I wait, opened wait, wait, up my. Wait, 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 I was a bicycle monk. A bicycle monk. Let's go, but he's felt this it, etc. Being a millionaire, but he has no car and he's riding a bicycle. But it's not a, a choice, bike. bros. Not like a motorcycle. It's a choice, bros, because he's a bicycle monk. What's I've never heard monk? that phrase before. What's a bicycle a, monk? A bicycle monk? Is it like. Like, what is that? It's, <laughs> well, it's like that guy. There's the guy, I think he was in the new Philosophy Tube video. Where his whole, like, channel is about uh, bicycles and, like, cycling everywhere and how we need 15-minute cities and walkable cities oh, and all this yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I guess, what a bicycle monk is. It's a guy who just never eats meat and loves the smell of his own farts <laughs> and rides the bicycle all day. That's what I imagine. A mailbox. And the Rolling Stone magazine is in there. So I put it in the bike basket. Of course this guy has and a kind of okay, the Rolling Stone. I think he stole it. No, he's at a oh, house. He stole it. Well, he's like riding his bike and stole him. He lives on his bicycle. I'm going to go celebrate sending my prospectus to Starbucks. You know, this is a big deal, big day. Kind of big day of my life, sort of. And uh, I get on my bike, kind of ambling around. I said, I'll go, I'll go to Pizza Hut. <laughs> so, so I go to Pizza Hut. To pizza Hut. This order prospectus to the Starbucks. I'm going to celebrate my multi million dollar deal with Starbucks with Pizza Hut. <laughs> now listen, I'm a big fat f but even I would choose a better option to celebrate my multi-million dollar deal. Go to like at least like a keg. Go at to the keg at least. At least the keg. He couldn't even go to Applebee's. <laughs> He's at Pizza Slide. Hella bar because hell is like my- Little Caesars. Yeah, it's true. Step above Subway. <laughs> Gotta give him that. Yeah. yeah. That used to be my favorite thing to eat was salad. Pizza Hut at Salad Bar. Salad, salad Bar Pizza Hut. So, uh, Salad bar I open up pizza? the Rolling Stone magazine the to salad a salad bar pizza. Like, you, what did he say? Ralph wants to kill this man. I don't. Ralph know. is like article called "Kid Cannabis," where they uh, right. busted some kids that were coming from Canada into this is Northern a Ireland. No, this is this, you're gonna love this, but Ralph finally's had enough. You ready, Ash? Yeah. Watch this. Busted some kids that were coming from Canada into. Northern, I live in Northern Idaho, right? And they'd smuggle pot from Canada into Idaho in backpacks. They'd cross the border. They'd like get out of the truck and cross over on foot. And they became millionaires and they had like the whole, the whole life. I mean, they had parties and money and everybody was buying pot from them. But then somebody got killed and the FBI got involved and they got busted, right? So the, the uh, uh, article, yeah. there's a, there's yeah, a movie yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep going. They though. made a movie about it. Yay! Okay. So anyway, I'm open. I'm. Ralph, Ralph like gestures like he's a mafia boss, <laughs> like he's a king or something. Like, <laughs> it's like Ralph, it's like, why are you allowing this guy to keep speaking? Why don't Tell you stop him? Why don't you just kick him from I the show? Get the like, 
can't how do you I'd mute him. so far in over an hour of this he's made four box i would mute him and deafen him right and then go is this guy serious and yeah. make fun of him yeah and then unmute him and keep shit talking yeah you used to do that on twisted mind uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you yeah. always do that yeah so, even worski live i would do that too i'd mute someone and deafen them and then i would shit talk them and then un and then they would have no idea to unmute and stuff yeah. sitting in freaking pizza in court lane i open up the story pizza. kid cannabis yeah three thousand percent ralph just sat there for that kid but. cannabis Yeah, no, I'll just stop you here because, um, and sure. I'll, I'll let you continue in a second, but be mindful that you got to cut some parts out. Uh, <laughs> you don't this say. This should have happened an hour ago, man. <laughs> you don't This say. should have happened a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away where you said to this guy, listen. Can you try and tell this story in a somewhat straight or yeah, coherent yeah. way? Like, I understand you're a schizophrenic. But Emma was like, oh, nice scratch noise. That's not scratch noise. That's literally the audio at 3,000%. And I have to lower <laughs> it or else it burns your ears. Go ahead. What are you going to say? I don't know what to say anymore, uh, man. At some point, you got to just level with him and say, are you schizophrenic? Yeah. I go, just challenge him. Like, have you ever been diagnosed with a mental illness? Are you all right? Like, uh, When you're telling this story, just so yeah. people can follow it. And when you get off into like in detail descriptions of the article and stuff like that um you're losing people because they can't keep <laughs> they can't follow it sure. so yeah, hit sure. the main points and kind of take us down that way with what you were saying well my uh the next thing i opened to him uh the magazine was a picture of paul mccartney on a bike right it looked just like mine so I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, too, because Paul McCartney at the Super Bowl, I had, like, this feeling that this guy is exactly so, the music he was like, playing. This is, like, narcissism, the delusions of grandeur. I this have the same bike. This Paul desire McCartney. to be, you know, in the same stratosphere or connection to famous people or special people. It's obvious what this is. Yeah, I have the same bicycle as Paul McCartney. <laughs> I bet, buddy. Like, even if you did, it's uh, not really worth bringing it up. Like... It's no. Sad. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sad. All right. This next. This is where it gets crazy. Crazy. This is called torture and big. D All right. This is one. the. This is one. the gold of it all. All right. Here we go. You ready, guys, for torture and? Can we hit it? Five years of being dormant. So from being a, 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 a internet minor league star to being completely dormant. It's like, okay, time to come back. Boring story about like being an internet star. Back on the internet. Obviously bullshit. Internet. But what do I name myself? And part of the torture involved, uh, the guy told me, bend over, I'll drive. Right? <laughs> and <laughs> the thousand yard stare in his eyes. The guy told me, bend over and I'll drive. And look at Ralph. And like Ralph's like, what? <laughs> the guy told me, bend over, I'll drive. Right and <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He said that was the torture that killed me. He said, "Bend over, I'll drive." After he's telling me to suck his <laughs> and licking his lips and freaking. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on. Wait, wait, that, wait, wait. That was the line. That was. The, that, was the, that was the line. Oh my god. That's, that's where he <laughs> went. No, hang on. You I need think... to clarify. You need to explain what you mean by this. This guy was torturing you by licking his lips, telling you to suck his <laughs> bend he over says and he'll so drive. so nonchalantly. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I told you to bend over it's and suck like, his dick. It's like something and, like, that lip happens lip. to everybody. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. That does sound like torture, but what? He made you suck his dick and then did no, what? No, yeah. no, he he said he told me first. I had a girlfriend that lived on the same lake as him. Oh no! <laughs> One question. I was making a left turn. And he's like, like no, 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 well, hold on. There's a whole other layer of context. <laughs> and she was like, me and her were like the perfect couple as far as Bob was concerned. She had three kids. I had three kids. There was three boys, three girls. We looked exactly like the Brady Bunch. She looked like Carol Brady, same type of woman. Oh my god. Hello darkness, my old friend. We look 
just like the Brady Bunch. It was Carol Brady. The schizophrenia, man. Like the fucking delusions. Like, bro, it's different. It's the he made Brady. $4. He made 4 and it's like, this is four, it's like, to it's this an hour shit. in, it's an hour in, by the way. Oh, man. And uh, he <laughs> this was... This is a cry for help. <laughs> this is a cry for help. It really is. Uh... Cooler than me, smarter than me. Angelo has subscribed for a month. Wow. Bring it back. So this Let's guy go, it, is et like hitting on his girlfriend, his perfect fucking couple, yeah. where they're the Brady Bunch and they have three boys three and sons. three girls three, and all this. Yeah, perfect. He's, listen to what this guy is. He's cooler than him. He's got a bigger penis. Like, let's get into it. Yeah, yeah. He looked exactly like the Brady Bunch. She looked like Carol Brady, same type of woman. Oh, buddy. And uh, he was cooler than me, smarter than me, a little bit taller than me, and he had a big... He kept telling me how he did. <laughs> nine inches with diameter. He was just getting to me nine like... Nine inches demon. with diameter. <laughs> Not nine watch? inches in diameter, but nine inches like, with diameter. With. <laughs> what is the diameter of his... So the length is nine inches with diameter. So what is, like, imagine it. It must just be a succulent, massive <laughs> cock. And he's getting cocked by this. Look, look at Ralph's face here, by the way, what? He, he kept telling me how it was. <laughs> nine inches with diameter. He was just getting to be like a demon, like, I got nine inches with the diameter. I'm going to f*** her. And shit like that. And she's falling in love with him, right? Because he's Joe Cool and he's making lots of money. And he's the one that was doing the real Your girlfriend was. I love Ralph. Yeah. He made her fall in love. He did this to other guys. I eventually found out. Every guy that got anywhere near him that had a girlfriend or even a wife, he would get in their head and uh, torture him because he could get any girl to fall in love with him. It was really... <laughs> that sounds like schizophrenia. No, it must. Like, this is like... That this is multiple this is the incident. No, this is the incident that caused him to become a schizophrenic. Everything was going great for him. He had a wife and kids, and he was winning. He was going to be a millionaire. And then he got cocked by a guy with a nine-inch with diameter. And then he had to rationalize it. He had to come up with a, a, a post-hoc cope yeah. where he's like, well, no, it must have been that he did this to everyone. It couldn't just be me that got cocked <laughs> by this nine-inch cock with diameter. He did this to hundreds of other men. It's not just me that's the sucker and the fool. There was a long list of other guys that all got cocked, so it's okay. Yeah. It's sad. Sad! Pathetic! It's with diameter, Do you believe bro. Them? I believe that this all happened. I don't believe really? anything else. It's like, I believe that this guy got cocked with nine inch cock with diameter. I believe. That he told him to bend over and swing a club, and I believe this guy was like Brady Bunch. That's... <laughs> it all's adding up. He, he's a freaking. Because I'm a schizo. And schizos and just believe. believe. <laughs> <laughs> if you watched the Book of Mormon, that was funny. Oh, shit. Amazing guy, as far as that. <sighs> but anyway. Um, Wait, Pocket Bootsy in chat just went, I don't know, it's kind of hard to believe this bullshit story. <laughs> no oh, way! No. Bro, I don't know. Why, no way. It's the nine inch width Are diameter you... versus the Memphis micro. Really? What, will win? what part don't you believe? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why didn't you just hit him with a bottle or something? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> What a solution! Why this didn't you just for hit help. him with a bottle that was big and diameter as his penis? To be fair, Ralph's right. Like, if this actually did, I don't know why didn't. Why you? don't you just kill him? <laughs> like, honestly, if he really did this and he was doing this to other people, you gotta stop the madness <laughs> at a certain point. He has to face some consequences. <laughs> yeah. This guy, like what? <laughs> Ralph's like, I'm not joking. <laughs> Ralph's, Ralph's, like, Ralph's eyes, and he's angry on Ralph, his top. Ralph's like, why are you laughing? This is serious. Look, why? Is that? But anyway, um, why didn't you just hit him with a bottle or something? 
this guy? Like, what? Look around, look around, look around. Well, we were I'm best friends for. I'm not joking. I'm like, <laughs> we were best friends for two years. And we were doing real estate deals. I'm talking 250 houses on a man-made lake that would have made me at least $10 million as a real estate agent. And I was like, no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just asked you, why didn't you kill him? All right, we're ready. What to the... does this have to do with replacing religion? <laughs> it's going to sell 250 houses on the man-made lake. It's always for I... these guys. I was almost a millionaire here. Oh. And then something I can't really get into happened. And... I have no idea you could hurt somebody psychologically, psychically. I had no idea. I thought anybody who's all whiny because somebody freaking said shit to him is just a pussy, right? Or just some girl that, you know, but he literally he murdered me if I wasn't, he literally if I didn't have this revelation, well, if talking? I wasn't. How are you uh, talking to us now? Eventually the goddess didn't speak to me and all these miracles. I would be dead oh, like a thousand times over. And right. so... So I was murdered, and You're uh, murdered, huh? And Ralph, can you at, pause this? Can we zoom in on Ralph's face in this moment, man? That's like that's the face of <laughs> it's the face of the image where the guy's praying. He's like, Jesus, I've seen what you've done for others. <laughs> can you do that for me? It's like that image. Like that's like Ralph, Ralph's in deep thought there. He's like in deep contemplation really in pissed. that moment. He's really mad. Because when I was deciding to go back online, I needed a name. And there was, because oh of the bend God. overall drive shit, there was like a psychic spear because in my belly. The and there was a crown of thorns around my head inside, like there was a black hole. I drew it on. There's a, there's a drawing that I did, like, not that long after uh, of this. There was all kinds of, like, little, it was freaking bizarre, but it felt like a crown of thorns inside my head, literally. I'm not making that up at all. Not even close. And there was like a spear in my belly, right? And I had this mission, and I got tortured, and I had a revelation. So I'm like... Ralph with the raised eyebrow? Inside. Did you see his raised eyebrow? It was so good. I had this mission, and I got tortured, and I had a revelation. <laughs> that has to be a gift. The rock says. That has, that has God a, says. That has to be a gift. Know your role. Like, Buddy, his eyebrow goes so high. Look at this ass. <laughs> All right, now and look. Then, wait, wait. Yo, yeah. he's pissed. We have to <laughs> slow down here. Uh, <laughs> what is the bend over, I'll drive thing? <laughs> We have to slow down here. Uh, what is the bend over, I'll drive thing? Like, okay, if he really was, like, traumatized. He's like, I'm not kidding. But, like, the guy, if he was really traumatized by this torture and he's recounting it, would he laugh like this? Would he go, ha, ha, ha. yeah, when I was, like, homosexually f***ed, you know, I would and recount it this way. He <laughs> told me a new asshole. He put my head up my ass. <laughs> what? I imagined it happening because I was I was a be real. I was like this be real and everything, no matter what What's a be real? came across my path, and I was real about it, right? He so was he real said, about it. Overall. I was driving the golf cart. Uh, we were golfing and Rex he was in the passenger himself. seat. He, I went out to pee, came back in. He says, whip it out. After he'd been torturing me, suck my dick, I'm going to your girl. Wait a minute, what? Torture you, suck He's your dick, and so, suck your girlfriend. It's, it's the Tony saying it. It's so like... Like everything is so intense, and then when he gets to that part, he's like, and then he's like talking about sucking his dick and fucking his ass and stuff. Anyway, oh. so the lakes that we were selling the property on, and you're like, hang on, I don't care about that part. <laughs> he put his head up his ass. I care about the the the, the thing you just said. It's slurping, so he's like, whip it out. I'm in a golf cart, but with him all alone in the fucking middle of nowhere. And I'm look, look at. Ralph's face here. Watch it. Look at this. Well, I think almost suck anybody's face would be like yes! if they were told this tale. I would, Bash, look at his frown. Watch I'm going to fuck your girlfriend, all this shit, right? Licking his lips, <laughs> slurping. So he's like, whip it out. I'm in a golf cart, but with him all alone in the fucking middle of nowhere. And I'm like, fucking no. What the f But the intent gets deeper and deeper as the guy's talking. Oh, man. Do I do about this shit, right? And then, like he says, bend over. I'll drive, because he used to drive. Most he had a nice SUV with super stereo, big wheels, all that shit, right? So he usually drove. Why did we need and... to hear about his stereo? This guy's torturing you. 
He's putting your own head up your ass. He's putting your head up his ass. He's oh. making you suck his dick. He's fucking your girlfriend. But let's tell everybody about his speaker system. <laughs> like, because he touched the hem of the speaker system's garment, he has been made special by having been around a speaker system of this level. This is so funny. It's, it's insane. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> now I'm driving. He's like, bend over. So I'll drive. And I freaking imagine that. Like, this is interview part four out of eight. We got to pound through this. Ask oh, me with this huge nine I need inch. To, I need to, <laughs> okay. <laughs> He just said he asked him with his huge nine inch c <laughs> Or did God he say he some of the things he said he imagined it? I'm driving, he's like, bend over, I'll drive. And I freaking imagine that happened in my head. The real, what really, what he really meant by it was to ask me with his huge nine inch diameter with diameter he said with that shit i got dude, diameter I love nine inches with diameter it. i'm gonna it's fuck diameter. <laughs> and but it, what was the diameter you know at first i'm like i didn't i'm like you're not gonna fuck her dude you're a piece of shit she's not gonna fuck you she's a nice woman but she eventually of course follow, falls in love with him and can't get enough of him eventually of just, course i'm just tortured about it. even before he tortured me i'm tortured about it right what but uh nine inches anyway, in diameter the chat's he's nine inches Let's go, Felton, et cetera. <laughs> Ralph's like, are you sure? Ralph's like, look there. I lie about my dick size all the time. What this is a little oh. outrage. He's not even lying about his own dick. He's lying about the dick of the imaginary man who cucked his imaginary wife. <laughs> his imaginary wife and cucked him. Nine inches with diameter. He's, he's In other words, a big fat nine inch dick is what he said he had. And you can I sometimes see it. No. Yeah. Stop. I Sorry. Don't see it. I it's don't just see it's it. part of the fucking What is he gonna is he gonna produce wanna... an image? <laughs> Does he have an image of the <laughs> but, but, this so we're not like the... Ralph's literally like visualizing the <laughs> Like this guy's gonna produce like the bowl sent pictures of him this guy's wife to him to torture him and he's like here's this image of him fucking my wife take a look ralph i'm gonna replace Why is religion it, ralph's like, how you... <laughs> sorry it sucks i don't it sucks see it. Bad, but i went through it right so so the, there was this somehow uh psychically like That's you know psychic. when you get a cramp and it's like what the fuck is that that shit's fucking holding me there and i can't do a damn thing about it when you get that kind of you have no explanation for how that could happen the same kind of like. There's no shit scientific where... explanation for cramps, by the way. Hey, Liana. <laughs> oh, man. You missed quite a story. <laughs> there was a fing that went in my ass and it created this Wait thing. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> there was a that went in your ass? He did not and just it say created that. what? <laughs> did it create a black hole in your ass where it sucked all the other cocks in the universe up into your ass? To blow the omega load what happened how can he t like, he's just telling this all with a straight face are these his sexual fantasies are these things that did happen that he's exaggerating look at look at ralph's chat here he's like, can, can we, we stop talking about dicks <laughs> this guy ate shit from his thumb and even he's like, stop. Stop. This is gross. But I like about this being the funny thing. It's pretty good. And there was all these uh, freaking weird things going on in my brain, right? And it felt like crown of thorns in me. Ralph's defeated. <laughs> Again, may I reiterate? Oh. Ra Ralph said that this guest would tank our show. This guest has saved our show. This guest was the Messiah that was promised. Just not for Ralph. <laughs> he really was the, like, the new Messiah. But for us, thank God. Like, okay, I got a crown of thorns crown in my head. And I got a spear in my belly. And I made this mission. And I had a revelation. I'm the new age Messiah. Big up Fim because he's right. This guy is a king. <laughs> right? And then I finally... 
I was like New Age Messiah, and I was warming up to it, you know, right? And I was on the Lost website. <laughs> no way. Okay. Wait. It just takes another crazy turn just out of wait. nowhere. I have a whole separate Lost this, clip. This is how he came up with his name. Yeah. You're okay. going to hear this guy. So he's just on work. the Lost website. <laughs> wait, Ralph is in the first kid to <laughs> give him a talking to. And I was warming up to it, you know, right? And I was on the Lost website. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Just... Were you... Did he do the deed or what like i <laughs> like Ralph's let's go felt it etc ask this question he's like how do i ask this i would just straight up ask did he fuck you in the ass? but he's like oh did he do the deed did he like my, my shoulder man, he needs to know before this we get so on to the story of the lost account this is so funny but man. he got so he got fucked up the and had a spiritual awakening yeah. where there was a crown of thorns upon his brow I and a spear this. in his belly like he was Jesus on the cross with the centurion piercing his side but he was actually getting bum on a golf course by a guy with a nine inch width diameter yeah. the question is how did he bend apparently... over I'm driving I never, he never touched me other than just a, he had like a, a really fucking flaccid way of like shaking hands and all that shit and he what? would he, he once or twice he fucking just barely touched me on the shoulder that was it and, we, and it was never it was always psychic torture is what it was i'm gonna psychic fuck the girlfriend suck my Let go felt and it, he it, had total right. control over so our real estate he, wait a minute so he was psychically forcing you to suck he his literally dick? this guy imagine you're sitting next to so someone, he was right? forced to suck his dick for a thousand years in a psychic dimension of <laughs> sucking where he was endlessly fucked up the by a nine inch dick with diameter meanwhile but the psychic torture happened when he would flaccidly touch him with his hand that would teleport him to the torture dimension yeah. of anal rape that's what i'm getting from this meanwhile this guy is sitting next to him in the golf cart right he's in the gay shadow <laughs> realm on a golf course for a thousand years <laughs> because he had the money guy he had the the brilliance. I mean, I was very good at real estate. I did all kinds of shit before I got with him. Well, I was making good money. I had the best projects in town. Like, Let's go, felt it, etc. You believe him? No. The best projects. This guy's never done shit. It could happen to anybody. It could happen to you, folks. One day, some rich guy could. Best flaccidly touch you with his hand and imprison you in a psychic torture dungeon of cock sucking and ass do you believe this yes uh, it believe... just so happens i believe that he believes i, mean, the... I believe that he believes like i think that he thinks this happened this guy that's freaking no, he's well, saying, Ralph... a person, this is an agent to persip to turn ralph gay <laughs> Sissy hip though? Yeah, he's sissy hypnotizing Ralph. Everybody else in the real estate market here as far as his... All right, so he talked about that for about 30 minutes. 30 Ralph... minutes of his real and estate Ralph career. Sits there. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to talk... It's called Actually, the width diameter coefficient. This, this is ironic. The, the title I call this is Lost. Right? We truly are lost. But it's based on the show Lost. But Ralph is, in fact, also lost. So yeah. it was a double, like, double name Everyone's system. Here. Here so I show him a, a deal that makes him a million dollars overnight. Then I set up a man money. <laughs> like Somehow this guy made him a million dollars overnight, but made nothing for himself. He just has this ability to just create million dollar deals out of thin air. Just like how he got raped out of thin air. Like, it's... Big deal, and the fucker tortures me. And... <laughs> you know, not necessarily exactly in that order, I, but come on, man! Like, deal you need to correct it. I, like, got, I got him. I, I got him a million dollar deal, deal as he raped, tortured me. But not necessarily in, in that, that order. order. Does it matter? So wait a minute. No, but imagine. So he raped and tortured you, and, and then, then you he, got him the deal. It should be. It would have to be in the order that you were originally saying. <laughs> Or else, why would you get him this million dollar deal? Maybe he had to conjure the million dollar deal to get out of the rape torture dungeon. That That's so funny. Here we go, guys. Here's how he got his name. You ready? 
decided I'm new agent side. Then I got on this lost website. Back to the I decided I'm new agent side. Then you I got on this lost website. literally see Ralph's tongue go into his cheek. <laughs> Sorry. I lost as soon as I I had You're talking about the watch. TV show Lost, are you not? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we go from psychic anal rape with nine inch cock with diameter to the show Lost in the blink of an eye. Okay. TV show Lost. So like I was not I never turned on my TV. Like I say, I was in the freaking darkest, farthest from society place you could possibly be. He was my kids bicycle. got turned on to it by their mom. His kids they got over turned the on by their mom? What do you mean by wait, this, sir? Wait, your was... children were turned wait. on by their mom? Is that what he said? Yeah. Like in a, uh, a I never complex? I turned on my TV. My kids got turned on to it by their mom. And what they brought over... I mean, what, did he, what does he mean by that? DVD for season one, right? Dug it. And then I... They brought over season two the next weekend. And so I had season one, season two, then I, uh, the rest on Netflix or whatever it was I could stream it on, right? So I caught up and in season five, I joined them as New Age Messiah, right? Signed up on the forum as New Age Messiah, the freaking, I am the New Age Messiah, the goddess. Uh, no, the goddess hadn't spoke to me okay. at that point, right? Freaking wild miracles. I had no idea who was there doing them. Or, you know. Can, okay. Just, These wild miracles, can he explain what the miracles were? Can he, like, actually just tell us, like, okay, and then this miraculous thing happened. I walked on the water, and then my water turned into wine. Yeah. Or, like, a million dollars showed up in my bank account overnight, or I managed to have one tank of gasoline last me a month. And, in fact, if you, I read the, I uh, just looked over my story that I wrote. I came over from Lost.com and told Lost. Pedia to ban me. Rick Vieira hosted with 103 views. Let's go, All felt those it, guys are going to be like, what the f*** is what, this garbage? What is this, <laughs> what is this garbage? This guy's an insane man. We're watching an insane man talk about being raped in the they ban me. Then I went to Lost forum, Lost TV forum, got on there, New Age Messiah, right? And then, man, but then I had a theory about the show. The meaning of the show was uh, encoded I, I in the okay. airline names. On I imagine... <laughs> Imagine what this guy's schizophrenic loss so theory So we're on the be. loss thing. I actually want to hear his whole loss theory brought out. I bet you it's a lot better than whatever bullshit he's come up with. <laughs> Flight numbers. There was, yeah. Well, there was two different uh, airlines. One of them was a Jira 316. And one of them was a Oceanic 815. And I said, Oceanic 815 represents the good, which was spirituality. Oh and God. a Jira 316 <laughs> represents evil, which is a religion. And that's what I said the theme of the show was. And I had this theory. Anti-Jacob is Richard Albert. What? Uh, which I've never Jacob seen. Jacob is Richard Albert? <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> well, I've only... Well, I saw a few yeah. episodes out of the first season. So, like, well, I... It, you know, the main thing is that uh, I had this theory about Lost, Is it right? Wednesday? And that I happened to have, be watching Lost Wednesday. only because my kids brought OBD. So it was like this thin, thin thread that I even got on the thing. Then all of a sudden I blow up on these Lost forums. Everybody's reading my threads and nobody else's. It's like, and then I had this theory and they're all saying how stupid I am to have this theory, right? And yeah. then the, I mean, I, I believe that part. Yeah. By season six, toward the end, it starts com being completely obvious that my theory is true. And then the finale of season six. Does anyone here know the lore it. of Lost? It does. Look, does anyone? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Like, like, <laughs> like, what? Like, like, you guess like, the what? ending of Lost. Like, you guess. Nobody even knows the, like, Base Breton says he does. Base Breton, was this what actually happened in Lost? Was his theory true? Falstaff says the writers of Lost don't know the lore of Lost, and I think that's actually true. They set up so many mystery boxes, J.J. Abrams style, and they just didn't know it was in the mystery boxes, and they just fucking gave up. Hold on. It just completely, uh, like, the, yeah, but the opening montage of season six is Oceanic Airlines for about 45 seconds of screen time. It's just all this heavenly stuff to do with Oceanic. Oceanic... Uh, Heavenly, 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 right? And then it's just, they uh, they had to blow up the Jira 316 plane at the end of the, uh, in season six, 
I think it was the finale, or it was very near the finale, that uh, the if they didn't blow up the Ajira 316 plane, Earth would be doomed because the the evil was going to go back to the because the island was separate. Yeah, look, I don't care. Uh, you're gonna have to come but up. But anyway, yeah, yeah, I just have to tell you that I, I solved Lost, and it's so okay. Solved. Good. <laughs> Ralph begins losing his mind. All right. We're almost done. We're almost done. But there's no question that I saw lost. And I'm the only person. I mean, look, that happens sometimes. Wait, wait, wait. wait, Stop. Here's the main thing. No, stop talking. Let me talk. (laughs) Stop talking. Let me talk. Finally, Ralph has the balls to go, shut the fuck up. Ralph Amel 316. (laughs) Bring it up, Ralph Dub. Dub. Okay, Lost had this god. And an evil god. It was kind of like Jacob and anti Jacob. So Jacob, Jacob was the uh, good. I got a lot of and then anti Jacob was the bad. And you know, anti Jacob is rich without the word. Was there such a character in anti Jacob and either Lost or the Bible? Oh, shit. Like, I know with the Bible, well, there is fast. no anti Jacob. Was this motherfucker? He's probably waiting. But the there is I a don't character ca- on Lost oh, called no, Jacob. No. <laughs> that's, that's my thoughts. And then anti Jacob was the bad, and you know anti Jacob is Richard Alpha was. It yeah, look, I don't care about Jacob. Lost. Okay. <laughs> so Lost had the goddess as the ruler of the island, and they had the the uh, uh, ready? Yeah. secret place of the island where you got your magical powers was like a yeah. vagina hole. <laughs> what? They, and they said Lost was the heart of the island, or no, that that. Uh, the goddess was basically oh, the heart Ralph of the told island. Him yeah. blah, 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 blah. So Lost everything about Lost was going. completely synchronistically exactly like my story. Good versus evil, religion versus spirituality, goddess, Egyptian, all kinds of Egyptian shit. And who's the only person in the world that solved it? Me. It's like, no. you think about that, but that isn't only, you take Ralph's that isolated like, and you don't give a f. That's normal. I've been through that a thousand times. Everybody looks at, they take everything else out of the picture, but what you have, it's a 15-year saga. They're like, okay, I'm the New Age Messiah, right? I, I, then I solved Lost, which I'm is I'm working like, on a 15-year saga myself. This Are you? This is year 10. Oh. And year 10 is f***ing bombing. It might be the end, Ralph. This is, like this la- is year the decade. <laughs> the decade. I don't and think he's going done. another decade. No, I don't think he's going another year. Five more years? The 15-year odyssey? I mean, maybe. No. He maybe has it. He maybe has Who? five more years. Who's the keep him alive? Austin A. Bear? Somebody will. You know, Let's Austin A. Bear has a goal to be my my gaming stream. And everyone in chat's like, oh, welcome, huh? Huh. All this well, bullshit. well, well. If it ain't Austin A. Bear. I was mad that I'm doing online, but go ahead. So, so. In, so I say I'm the New Age Messiah, right? Everybody, like, yeah, you're fucking nut is what you are, right? You're fucking nut is what you are. Then I solved yeah. lots. It's like, yeah. see, I told you, I'm the New Age Messiah. I solved lots. Like, yep. Who else solved lots in the New Age Messiah? Blah, 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 blah. Nobody gave a f, right? Nobody gave a f. Maybe a few people would be like, that's kind of special. Nobody Maybe, gives you know, a f- you know? no. And then look your heart in the mirror. People like it. It's whenever my I have a stand, the kids, they swarm. The freaking uh, people love it. When they, when they understand what it's about, they love it. Everybody out of contact in, in, in a certain way, they love it, right? And it is. I called like right away when I had the first pen, and I called like the biggest jewelry distributor in the world, and they wanted it. <laughs> but then they figured they got Ralph a whiff of my show sucks. Am I crazy? He's so stupid. This guy would be so <laughs> easy to like trigger into the most. Re- I, I just don't even know. Like, why is he not doing anything? Why is he not interacting? Why is he just letting him ramble on? It really is just a waste of like what could be like funny. It could be funny, like there's parts of it and... that are funny. Yeah. But his audience, Ralph's audience, just I doesn't know why. Shit. Ralph, when he's sober, right? He has this like m- this mentality that he's like some sort of like serious political commentator. Yeah. But Ralph, you're a joke. Yeah. People watch you because you're fucking. Re- and when you're like acting serious and you're like sober, just make and... this the clown show it was always meant to be. It was supposed be. to be always a comedy. Well, this guy thought like I don't know why Ralph didn't do any research into this. Well, I do know because he's zannied out and he doesn't yeah, give he a fuck. Pills. And he's he's pills. can't put any effort in whatsoever. Mm-hmm. 
But to think that this was a serious political commentator At one that point. was going to come on and give like this analysis of the war in Gaza and tell us these profound that statements. That would be more boring. It's ridiculous. And they're like, yeah, we don't want it. Because <laughs> I was, you know, crazy in that way. But anyway, uh, so then this is what I didn't want. I was really nervous about discussing. But uh, in December of this is after I declared myself as an Asian star, right? And the 122112 12 was the big date of the uh, Mayan calendar, right? Everybody. Yeah, like, oh. I'm hearing the Yucatan. That's the date on the Mayan calendar that people said was supposed to be the end of the world, but it wasn't really. Right. That, but but it was a date that was in everybody's mind, right? So what happened yeah. on 12, 21, 12? On Nothing. I don't think they do. Huh? Somebody asked in chat, do they put mustard on the cheeseburger? Yeah, and I they th do. Do they? It looks like it's just ketchup. It's always this three dots. The three dots. Three dots, yeah. Except... You start there. That the New Age Messiah made a website that made world news that bring down the cabal. And <laughs> I'm actually kind of a believer that the world really did end in 2012. Because it's really been all downhill since. Yeah, but watch. But what, oh, you, oh, you mean like uh, as... Like, I think that's when society rose. really like reached its final like peak form. And then since and then... And then it just sucked. Since then, it's just all sucked. But look at this. Look at Ralph's face at the Zoom. Watch. It was in everybody's mind, right? So what yeah, happened yeah, on 12, yeah. 21, 12? Nothing except, except that the New Age Messiah made a website that made world news that bring down the cabal. And that's it. <laughs> the only thing in the, on wow. anything significant that happened on 12, 21, except 12. I made my website on GeoCities. Uh, you know, so I was on the Anderson only Cooper. Thing. Wait, wait, wait. You were on Anderson Cooper? Yeah. You were on Anderson Cooper? put my website up. No, he wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe it? Can somebody find this? I believe it. Is this guy? Has this guy really been on Anderson? And if so, what a f***ing fall Whoa. to go from Anderson Cooper to f***ing Ralph? I think I think Owen Benjamin and f***ing um. I actually don't know who I have more respect for, honestly, between Anderson Cooper and Ralph, because Anderson Cooper is like a f sucking f***ing piece of shit. You don't watch him? I have watched Anderson Cooper, yeah, because he's on like. The I New Year's Eve, kidding. CNN, and shit like that. Kidding. He put my website up there and said what a dickhead I was and shit. <laughs> but over what? The website that I made. No, I mean, I understand, but, like, what what aspect of the website did he say made you a dickhead? <laughs> made me a dickhead. Uh, well, because it was SandyHookHoax.com. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he ran Sandy Hook. <laughs> no, no, no. Hello. That's Poor Alex Jones. Alex Jones got f***ing fouled. They have things to this for guy. Just for just telling the truth. Things to this guy. Stop it. Take it back. He's joking. Oh, I Stop see. It. By the way, I have to Retarded. state, and I've said this on the record before, um, that I actually don't believe that it was a hoax there. Um, but... Um, I've heard that before. I've yeah, heard people say that before. Dude. Personally, yeah, I don't. The lawsuits in He's joking. He's joking. I don't want to say Gabe that. Gabe Hoffman, here. protect me now. Anyone who believes that is real. For real. Um, For real. But you do. Well, I don't know. I thought they kind of looked Stop. like. Yeah, and uh, I think the goddess does too because <laughs> she put me on that date to make that website. The goddess. There's still more of this guy. <laughs> oh, bro. It's called Ralph Endures, you ready? Said the deadline was such and such, and I'm like, oh, if I send it now, I, I mean, won't meet the deadline, right? And then I like, then they said, we extended the deadline. They probably didn't have shit enough for, for entries, right? So they extended the deadline, and I'm like, there's no f***ing way they're going to pick me. I'm a, you know, I look like a f***ing loser, you know? So, uh, well, I and then the video isn't that bad, but you can tell I'm crippled. You can tell I'm physically fucking crippled, because there are pictures of me where I look as rock solid, handsome, all-American boy. You know, I was up. in the army. I was Iron Mike. The, when you run and do push-ups and uh, sit-ups, and there's a contest with the whole base, and I won the f***ing Iron Man contest. No, you I didn't. I was in uh, perfect shape, you know. What the f*** is and he then, talking about? He won the Iron Man? You don't believe that? What's the Iron Man? is like the strong man. I don't right? f***ing even know. But there's no way this f***ing piece of shit won it. No, and, and also very... Girls like me, you know... To dance and talk. I could God, talk. He came Iron Man. Just like in Girls like me, you know, to dance and 
talk. And I could God. talk. You were a lady. So street talking. <laughs> we're a ladies, man. <laughs> Well, once you start telling the ladies about how you solved loss, they get fucking soaked in their panties. Let me fucking tell you. <laughs> Got it. You were a ladies, man. Like, <laughs> Got it. Tell me the fucking word, <laughs> Ralph. <you dumb. laughs> Sweet talk, a nice voice. My voice has even changed. I don't, you know, I don't hardly recognize my own voice. But, yeah, uh, yeah that's... I don't know what else to say other than this shit is completely real. I have not made up one thing. It all happened. Right. The, the miracles are they're just out of this freaking world. And, uh, the fact that it's world. miracle jewelry and, you know, yeah, just, it just goes yeah. on and on. The freaking significance, jewelry. the depth, the, the profundity. And the goddess oh spoke God. to me. I don't even know if I said it. I, I, maybe people didn't even know because I was... What did this is at the point. Okay, so I'm, I'm watching Lost. I still Lost. don't think the whole time uh, he's even told I go us down to the goddess's uh, messages or <laughs> how we should live our lives or anything. It's literally dude. Starbucks threw me out. So I go down to the downtown Coeur d'Alene, which is a beautiful place. Do you know how bad We're you have to be to get kicked story. out of Starbucks? We're back at the first story where he made like the postcards for them. No. And they had a, a nice he coffee still shop. He hasn't even said his name. The Egyptians, because the Egyptians is big theme in Lost, right? And he's, we were talking about Lost. We were talking about Cordelay. I don't know the, anything about Lost, really. I saw the Egyptians, a few episodes because the guy said, from Oz was on there that played Augustus in Oz in the wheelchair. So the black said, guy. He, That's said, the only, he says uh, the Egyptians were the first major, major civilization to go away from worshiping the gods. And I'm like, when he said goddess, I had like a twinkling. It's like, because I felt like I was in a womb kind of, you know? And, uh, Within a day or two of that is when the goddess spoke to me. I was laying on my back. There was these, I was subletting or, you know, had dormers in my house that my landlord rented to me. He allowed me to have people in to kind of help pay the rent. And they were. Wait, what? So he, he, he rented he an apartment. He turned his apartment into a dorm room. And like he his, rented it out. It's like six fucking homeless like guys from getting a social security check or something. I don't know idiots and they're making all kinds of noise and commotion in the kitchen i'm laying on my bed like oh my god you know because I, like i said i was i was this close to being a millionaire and all of a sudden i'm freaking broke a beggar laying on my back with idiots in my kitchen and taking over my house right you know i couldn't be more miserable there's all these miracles going on i have no idea what the is going on nothing's changing i'm still broke i'm still a beggar it sounds like drug use well yeah man this guy is obviously like fried I don't know if it's yeah, like, drugs or what. No, it's probably like mental illness. It's just like illness. mental illness that's just totally untreated. And he's just a sad old man. Like, I don't even know how he has the four walls and a fucking roof over his head right I, now. I don't... I, is he? And like, like, where is he? It's hard to really say. He has, like, mannequins behind him with t-shirts Is he, like, in a them. store? Somehow and he, like, he took broke over, like, store? the back of an H&M. <laughs> He's in the display of the window. This is how he pays his bills, is he's in the display of the H&M window with the mannequins behind him, and he's like in Amsterdam, red light district, dancing in the window, performing his schizophrenic nonsense. I don't know. Just in this <laughs> misery and this freaking sweet he's woman like voice schizo is in my freaking head. That's what it's called. And as he talks, like, his voice goes over the intercom, so you're just comforted by schizophrenic rambling as you're, like, looking through, like, fucking UFO books and fucking Bigfoot documentary DVD sets. This could be a huge fucking store. It's just you have, like, a different schizo every day rambling, and they're performing in the window for people. I think I might have come up with a million-dollar idea. It's just all sorts of schizophrenic nonsense. Not in my head, just she what came did the god? Is Brock, are you snoring? Crocs died. Crocs snoring. What did I say? It came from within my soul. She said, I'm very angry, Tefna cooking. But I didn't <laughs> recognize nut. I recognized Tef. She's very angry, Tefna cooking. Cooking. And I'm like, what the hell was that other syllable, right? And uh, I had been cooking with a scratched up Teflon pan, so I thought she's mad that I'm cooking with a fucked up pan and I'm eating no! this poison or whatever, you know? Are you fucking and kidding I... me? Pause. This guy is telling us that a fucking goddess 
like an omnipotent, omniscient fucking being with like celestial like responsibilities and powers <laughs> beyond our wildest fucking dreams on various dimensions of reality was so concerned with his insignificant affairs. She came down to tell him that he was cooking with the wrong pants. <laughs> Teflon pants. <laughs> rather than what? F I, I, like, are you kidding? Buddy, do you believe this? Yeah. <laughs> And then, like, you know, as you process it, like, took me a day or two to just say, okay, that was a goddess. That was took a goddess. a day or two. And then... I mean, you think if a goddess a later, would... to you, you would know it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if God came to you... No, nah, I'm all right. If God came to you, or a goddess, or a divine being, you would probably know. You know what I mean? It wouldn't take a day or two. I don't know. There's instances in the Bible where angels came and... And people didn't know, or so they say Bible says people entertained angels and were unaware. So I don't know, but a, a fucking goddess? I, I I don't know how to even I don't know what the parameters of that would be because it's all made up bullshit. Oh, but you just have to think that he would know. It wouldn't take a day or two. I don't know. And by the way, that's what she said. Stop cooking with Teflon. She's mad. So far, that's the only commandment we've received from divine intervention. There are many grand questions that we have that needed an answer from a divine being. You know? Like, is abortion right or wrong? <laughs> Stuff like that, you know? Like, things people have debated for a long time. And the divine answer that we get is a question none of us have asked. What cookware shall I use, oh God? What's Not the meaning Teflon. of life? Later, you know, as I started thinking about what's this missing word, what is it, what is it's it? I'm like, like, I swear to God, okay. That like, is her name. The missing word is her name. Okay, very you know what? I go to check out this book from the library about loss, oh, uh, or no, about Egyptian gods and goddesses. It goes nowhere. It's an Egyptian goddess? Well, the last goddess? one, hang on. No, like a... I am original mother it, of all the other gods and goddesses. Look. And then it just goes on and on. Like, I, I end up finding out that uh, her name was changed to Maat, Maat, M A A T, in the coffin text. A tomb changes the name of Tefna to Maat. And Maat is in charge of all the gods and goddesses. Your heart is weighed against the feather of Maat when you die. The Pharaoh does Damn. the will of Maat, the laws of Maat. <laughs> He's like, I get it, Mott. Her name is Mott. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Egypt, everything <laughs> no, about, he's right like, about you know, this I read this shit like back when I was like eight, nine years old in the ancient Egypt. But book. the problem is, the problem is, is <laughs> Ralph's heard so much bullshit that he doesn't probably even believe this is real. Oh, my name God. doesn't come up that much. It's always Isis or Horus or whatever. Yeah. But Mott ruled Egypt. Mott ruled all the gods and goddesses, and the goddess that spoke to me was Mott, according to Coffin Tales. She said her name was Tefna, but nice. I think they're the same name. So then I find out that the uh, indigenous Egyptian wisdom keeper told this dude, uh, right. Stephen so, Mailer, thinks oh, it's Tefna, it? because Tefna had the face of a lion. 3,000%. Ralph just by the way, silence. by the way, he still hasn't made a Not dollar. <laughs> no dollar. The total he made four dollars during this whole thing. This is a uh, 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 hour and forty uh, minutes in. Uh, the strong or the ones that fight the battles or He's the not here. Listen to this for an hour. All the great athletes or whatever, or the beauty, anything like that. They favor the people that go on spiritual quests. All right, now what did so, the goddess say? By the way, I'm very angry. Definite cooking, and that's it. Okay, well, that's all. But that was all I needed. Was because it was, it was all anonymous, and I had no idea where those. And then all of a sudden, I knew. Okay, a freaking goddess is very angry. And oh my god! Three thousand percent. Oh my god! Just we were talking. And that was twenty minutes. What we just heard that scratch. That was 20 minutes. Straight. How is Ralph just allowing this to <laughs> So we're now two hours in. 3,000%. Rivera. Rivera. I took my shirt off because I'm on this mission to be real. And if I'm hot, I take my shirt yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you know, and yeah, I took yeah, my shirt yeah. off. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> in the office, and I give you. I have to hear this part. This part's right. f- real, and if I'm hot, I take my shirt yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I took my shirt off in the office, and I did. You know, I was like that. I was doing that kind of shit. I'm in a freaking business office. I'm hot. I take off my fucking shirt. Just, I did. I was real. I was really, really trying to be real. Like, let's not freaking play the freaking society game. I'm freaking hot. My shirt's coming off. And I was built at the time, so I, I wasn't you, ashamed bro. of that. But uh, then... Society, bro! F*** you! I will do what you tell me! I got now, then my take shirt off. Off. Do you believe That's in hard. gravity? Is anti-gravity possible? Um, Let's go, felted, etc. What a question! What a question! Well, get ready for the answer, bud. I do not believe that gravity causes black holes that they're what? i think it's pressure and and i don't i i know for a fact that the gra- that the black hole in my soul is awesome. caused by a change in pressure all right I'll so just ask i do you. suspect I that gravity right. isn't i do suspect that gravity isn't real okay so we have one last quick one no we don't <laughs> Listen, Surely not. Listen, there was still another hour to edit, and I gave up. It went on for another, another hour, hour past this point? I want to know what he did at the end. Well, Adol Wolf comes in and starts interviewing him, and Adol Wolf sucks. Oh, my f***ing God. Yeah, yeah I'm still here. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, there what's... he is. Oh, this no. Is now our, this, oh, th- this is no. Oh, no. Uh, so did you have any questions for having to look at that? Yeah, uh, I, you know, you, you were talking about this guy, the way you were describing him. Do you feel like this uh, this guy that tortured you, do you feel like he was possibly a demon? Get ready for this answer. Okay. Well, there's uh, there's two more coincidences. One is that uh, the town where the man-made lake was built, where I decided to put it, I decided to put it in a, he wanted to put in a five-acre, uh, we have this rule because we have a, is the man what does this have to do with demons? Who did this, is he a demon or not? All right, so we're going to start with the man-made lake. Watch this, watch this. It's crazy. Aquifer. That lots have to be at least five acres unless they have uh, city sewer because of sewage leaking into the aquifer. It's very, very clean water under there. It's like okay. huge. It's, va- it's very stringently protected, right? It's one of the reasons they moved here. So... Uh, when I drove, when I first you're kind of changing the subject. That look, 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 look. No, <laughs> bro, oh my like, god! Listen, is he a demon or not? It'll lead into it. Don't worry. So I like drove. Do you believe him? It'll lead to it. Into it. Don't worry. Drove into this into this mountain to kind of. I was just checking out the first day I was ever here in Coeur d'Alene area. I get, I get, hey, I'm like, how much longer? Like an so hour. So we do see the end when he finally gets rid of this guy. No. What did he? What did he say I to him up. at the end? I was. I was. I felt. You like didn't I, even see it. I felt like I was like. You f- have to know how it ends. So uh, it. the lake looks it's like a snake, and or a man serpent or some kind of demon thing that you drive onto the island and then it oh squishes you and eats you. You know, type thing. So that there was that, and then the six 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 thing in the court thing. But strangely enough, this is another thing that's freaking bizarre. But I don't know what it means. I think. It has some meaning because on twelve before twelve twenty one twelve, I was thinking about doing a party at the uh, Kootenai Fairgrounds to to rent. Right. When you hear the ending of this question, you're gonna lose your mind. Uh, you know, one of their things, and have like high school kids or you know whatever over for a end of the world party, right? End of the world uh, twelve twenty one twelve end of the world. But I I put I made this thread on can't remember what it's I was lunaticoutpost.com right i made Lun- uh end of the world religions party 12 21 12 i made this thread new age messiah and they're like <laughs> but that has nothing to do with him but i don't i don't think he was a demon necessarily but he- was he a demon not necessarily ten, ten minutes of different- well, that has nothing to do with him, but uh, yeah, I don't think he was a demon. Not necessarily. Well, it doesn't. I don't that's, know. That's where I lost my patience, and I'm like, no, no, I refuse. But what about the nine inches? Was it the diameter? 
Did you like that story with him? It was great. He definitely has uh, every it's characteristic. It's that Ralph wasted his time with this for hours. For three hours. Two hours and 50 minutes. Two hours and 50 minutes. To be exact, he wasted yeah. his life on this to make four dollars. Yeah. A little over no, three dollars. No. He less made, than three I think, two more dollars later. Oh my he god. Made, the last hour was too He fun. made six dollars <laughs> in three hours. Minus thirty percent. Minus thirty percent. So he made about four dollars in three hours. A buck thirty three an hour. Before tax. To listen to this guy. It might be time to hang it up, bud. <laughs> Like, it might just be time, Ralph, to actually apply for a job. You guys made 4000 More. But it doesn't matter. No, guys, thank you, man. What an episode.